<clears throat> Mainstream media, especially the news, is what I like to refer to as complete and total horseshit. That's actually the scientific term for it. You can look it up. Um, and when you look at it, like MSNBC is fine when it's not actively failing. Fox News can go fuck itself. And the fact is, are we even gonna mention CNN or Don Lemon? No. <laughs> Since last night, we've watched uprisings from Ferguson to Baltimore to Phoenix. People taking to the streets demanding justice while news coverage centers the debate on property instead of human dignity and life. This was never clearer than when we all watched Ferguson, an American city occupied by its own government Myriad members of news media found it more reasonable to give arrest records of victims than calling out the massive amounts of bullshit being peddled by the police. And I'm, I, it had gotten so bad that two days after the tragic shooting of Mike Brown, someone sent me this tweet. I don't know if it's something you're going to consider doing, but I would totally kick in money for you guys to go cover Ferguson. The space I run, This Week in Blackness, aka Twib Nation, uh, it's a digital multimedia platform that challenges ma mainstream narratives and highlights diverse voices, has done this before. We've covered marches, rallies, and supposed riots before, and whatever you want to say about TWIB, the one thing that is clear is that we don't deal with bullshit kindly. That evening, after the tweet, I asked our audience to donate. Help us go cover what's going on. And in an hour, we had already raised the money because people trusted us more than they trusted any mainstream media space to tell the story. <laughs> Already lost my space, here we go. <laughs> Our reporting was different to say the least. While Don Lemon stood with bodyguards all over the place, This Week in Blackness was welcomed with open arms. In those first few days, I met Netta, Ashley Yates, and Cheryl Brown, and other people who it would, in a matter of weeks, become leaders of this movement. As cops chased Brittany and Cheryl and Netta and I, shooting tear gas through residential areas, the mainstream media reported the BS that the police told them, that only rioters were being engaged by cops. I still have my goggles with my apple vinegar soaked rag. This Week in Blackness stayed on air broadcasting live so that people could hear what was happening. We reported via Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and provided a powerful counter-narrative in support of the voices who had been on the ground from the beginning. Our reporting made its way to mainstream spaces, actively proving how antiquated news media has become. That's why This Week in Blackness and many other independent news spaces need your support. To do this work, it requires support through consumption, sharing, and yes, with money. I don't ask for support because, uh, because I'm asking for charity. We produce a damn good product. We provide a service that's important, and people, and I know that it's important because people actually already pay for it. As we continued reporting from the, on the ground for weeks, traveling the country, broadcasting and writing, we were, helped to, we were able to help amplify our voices seeking justice nationally. We sought to make sure we could take on more work, so we applied a subscription model so we could pay. People could pay on-demand access to our content while keeping our reporting free. As we covered protests, our audience grew, and with the subscriptions This Week in Blackness, a black-owned media organization that produces progressive media, was able to hit our first stage of sustainability. In doing this work, we became job creators. But we still need support for that next level. Instead of hate watching CNN and tweeting shade, why not support the independent media spaces actually doing the work that y'all claim to want? Culture moves policy. Media influences culture. Conservatives know this. Progressives still have not committed to this clearly established idea. Many independent media spaces are on the ground supporting, um, reporting movements and supporting movements in ways mainstream never could. Yet we struggle for support from the space that we're helping to grow. In a march towards justice, we all have roles to play. Organizers, funders, activists. Hell, the folks who cook food, food that feed the funders, I mean the organizers and the activists. We all have that. My job with TWIB Nation is to witness, to tell the story, to offer a counter-narrative, let folks see this bullshit it is bullshit, and we see it too. You're not alone. You're not crazy. To help us throw middle fingers up to misrepresentations of marginalized communities, support independent media, support This Week in Blackness, and help us be the media that you want to hear and that the media needs to hear.